the action using flags. In this part, we're going to talk about the flag, the scopes, and the rules of the game. If this by implication S, if and only if T is a tautology, then we say that it is logically equivalent and we write using this symbol. And if S implies Q is a tautology, then we say that it is a logical implication and we write using this symbol. Now just recall this law of logic about equivalent as equivalent to T, equivalent to S implies T and T implies S. Or to make it better to read, we're going to put some brackets in there. Open bracket as equivalent to t close bracket equivalent to open bracket open bracket s implies t close bracket and open bracket t implies s close bracket close bracket for implication p1 and p2 and p3 and so on and pn implies q then P1, P2, P3, and so on, Pn, are the premises, and Q is the conclusion. Before we continue, please subscribe, click the bell, like, share, and put your nice comments below. Now we're going to talk about the flags and the scopes. There is a flag with pole. It is the flag and it is the pole. We say this area is in the flag. This area is under the flag. And this area is under the pole. The proposition or expression in the flag is the premise. Suppose that we have these three flags arranged like this. The blue flag and the green flag are under the yellow flag. And the premises are in the corresponding flags. So P is the premise of the yellow flag. Q is the premise of the blue flag. And R is the premise of the green flag. Now the scope of P, that is where you can use P, is under the yellow flag but not in the other flags and also not under the yellow pole now you can use the premise p in its scope area also means that you can copy p to that area so you can copy p to this area to this area or to this area the scope of the premise q is only under the blue flag and not under the blue pole and we can copy q to that area the scope of the premise r is only under the green flag and not under the green pole and r can be copied to that area now copying a premise from one flag to another flag is not allowed the rules of the game introduction of implication and we're going to use in implication in the reasoning. If you have the premise P in the flag, and we get Q somewhere under the flag, then we can conclude P implies Q under the pole. Elimination of implication. And we're going to use L implication for reasoning. If you have P in the flag, or under the flag, and we have P implies Q under the flag. Then we can conclude Q. And also if you have P implies Q in the flag. Or under the flag. And we have P under the flag. 
then we can conclude Q. So the order of P implies Q and P is not important. It is the rule of both exponents. Introduction of OR, and we're going to use IN OR for reasoning. If you have P as premise in the flag, or P under the flag, then we can conclude P or Q. Now similarly, if you have Q, then we can conclude P or Q. This is also called the rule of disjunctive amplification. Elimination of OR, and we're going to use L OR for reasoning. If you have P or Q in the flag, or under the flag, and we have not P, then we can conclude Q. Similarly, if we have not P in the flag, or under the flag, and we have P or Q under the flag, then we can conclude Q. This is also called the rule of disjunctive syllogism. Introduction of N, and we're going to use in N for reasoning. If you have P in the flag, or under the flag, and we have Q under the flag, then we can conclude P and Q. Similarly, if you have Q in the flag, or under the flag, and we have also P under the flag, then we can conclude P and Q. It is also called the rule of conjunction. Elimination of N, we're going to use LN for reasoning. If you have P and Q in the flag, or under the flag, then we can conclude P. In the same way, we can conclude Q. It is also called the rule of conjunctive simplification. Introduction of not, and we're going to use in not for reasoning. If we have P in the flag, and we have false F somewhere under the flag, then we can conclude not P under the pole. This is also called the rule of contradiction. Elimination of not. We're going to use L not for reasoning. If we have not P in the flag, and we have false under the flag, then we can conclude P under the pole. This is also called the rule of contradiction. Introduction of biconditional. We're going to use in biconditional for reasoning. If you have P implies Q in the flag, or under the flag, and we have Q implies P under the flag, then we can conclude that P if and only if Q. Similarly, if we have Q implies P in the flag or under the flag, and we have P implies Q under the flag, then we can conclude that P if and only if Q. Elimination of biconditional, we're going to use L biconditional in the reasoning. If we have P if and only if Q in the flag or under the flag, then we can conclude P implies Q. Similarly, if we have P if and only if Q in the flag or under the flag, then we can conclude P implies Q. So those are the rules of the game. And in the next video, we're going to see how to play with this. See you in the next video. Bye.